For today's Dragon Ball Legends video, we're going to be talking about how to get top rank equipment in Dragon Ball Legends, starting with Godly and working our way down to Z Plus and Z, etc. I hope that you guys enjoy this video. Subscribe if you are new, and if you find it helpful, be sure to drop a like. So to begin, you got to discern which equipment you want to get, right? That's the pretty easy, obvious way to do this. So let's say you wanted to get this specific Godly rank equipped. You would hit, well, wouldn't you know it, how to get, and it would tell you where to get the items you would need to get this one. Now, this one's a little bit of an outlier because that one isn't awoken equip so let's start off with this one right here so if i wanted to get this specific equip done right i would hit how to get and it would tell me whatever stage i need to go to and then i would go there and then the general premise is you want to go ahead and just skip ticket maximum skip tickets you want to run this and you're good to go i am going to do a skip ticket farm on a different stage really quick for the purpose of today's video so we can upgrade some stuff this is a brand new Dragon Ball Super Superhero Equip that I need some more copies of. So we're going to do a skip ticket run on this. So we'll go ahead and click that, do this. As you see, it's going to cost energy and skip tickets. Pretty self-explanatory. And so we will fast forward until this is done. Okay, it's completed all 100. And so this is what I got. So I got all these different items. And uh, ultimately, let's see what we got. Did we get anything good? Um, it looks like no. So here's what you want to be looking for when you do these. You want to, the most important thing you want to do is start off with an equip that is a red slot one or at least a gold slot one. But if you're trying to get godly, you really want to recommend, I would recommend a red slot one. What that means is that as you see my equip, it's got that green D, you want to get the red. So you're going to run this, skip ticketing as much as you can until you get the red. That is the goal. On the next run, I hit the cap, so I have to sell now. But I did get one that's red. Now, quick note on this. The red means that it's super duper close, or as you see, is maximum percentage. Now, you can make do with green or gold or whatever you want to use on this first slot if your goals are different. If you want to use like an S rank equip, if you want to use a Z equip, Z plus, you can use those types of equips with gold. So, or green, excuse me, or gold. So, anyway, that's kind of how it is, right? Now, I will say that there isn't a huge, huge, as you'll see in a minute, there isn't a huge stat dis disparity between a lot of these ranks. This is more or less just a flexing system where you go into PvP and you're showing off all your Z pluses or godlies, right? So that's pretty much all it really is. There's not a ton of disparity. So now that we've got our first equip that is a red slot one, we're going to select it and we are going to not sell it. <laughs> not sell it. Hashtag don't sell the equip. We are going to click it and we're going to select it and upgrade it. So let's see what we get on the next one. This one is... 15 that is terrible so let's go ahead and upgrade it again and also terrible this is an equip that had so much potential and just died by the wayside thankfully we can re-upgrade these this system wasn't always here so the re-upgrading system is pretty nice next thing i'll kind of mention really quick is the best time to do this type of stuff whether it's equip farming or upgrading equips is when there's a campaign as you see right now at the bottom it says i got 12 percent bonus 0.55 what that means is that the equip was 0.55 worse but it got boosted because there's a campaign on to where it's easier to upgrade equipment so if you're looking to upgrade your equipment now is the perfect time so we're going to re-upgrade this one but i need to get some erasers really quick erasers are super easy to get you can get them by purchasing them through the uh actual real life money shop <laughs> or you can exchange for them in various different exchange shops and also a lot of times during celebrations like right now they give you a lot like they just gave out a few hundred like casually so very easy to get don't worry about it now we're going to start off by re-upgrading so here's what our plan is so if we go back to this equip, slot two, we're going to work on the strike attack and we'll move on to the defensive stats. So up to 32 is the maximum. If you are trying to get godly, you need to get like at least 31.5, I'd imagine on this. It does not have to be max, but it needs to be super freaking close to max. That's the point. Godly is right there in that, t in that tier. I'd imagine godly plus when that pops up in a couple of years is going to be like perfect stats only. Like you need to get at least 31 and at least 31.3 probably on this. And if you get that, you need to also on this defensive one, get like 24.7, something like that to completely get godly. Now, as this equip gets a little bit worse, you might see on the margins, it'll get like Z plus, you know, things like that. You can get Z plus with two reds and a green, things like that. And the colors, as you can tell, are also predicated on higher rankings as well. So we're gonna start off with a strike attack and work our way through this system here. All right, so on this page, you have the option to exchange slot removers or chrono crystals. I would recommend doing that. Now, <clears throat> secure upgrade, you can come here and this does two things. First and foremost, for an increased cost of resources now instead of one like you see here of erasers and stuff 
it actually goes to five erasers and some equipment medals. You can actually do this. And what this means is that it'll re-upgrade that slot. So basically re-upgrading is just rerunning this, this equip slot over and over until it uh, stops where you want it to stop. But if you do the secure version, what this does is it'll run it. And if it falls below the number that it started with, it'll just go back to where it started. So as you see here, when we actually start this process, that'll be a lot more clear. Now, this is a very, very, very zenny intensive process. Having to do this hundreds of times sometimes to get these perfect equips will cost a lot of zenny and also racers, but a lot of zenny. So <clears throat> right there, it was at 14.6. That was lower than it started. Now, when it, wherever this process is stopped manually or wherever it ends will be the new starting point. So a tip on this is if you get something like what this equip specifically, you know, 20, 29%, something like that, that would be pretty high green or close to gold or maybe even gold. You can, if you really want to do it, you could cancel and then secure upgrade. And so secure upgrading has two functions. It will stop the equip from going any lower than it started. Yes. But it also has a function where you can guarantee an upgrade. And so you can spend like 30 erasers. I think it's 30 or 40. You can spend that and it'll guarantee an upgrade at a marginal amount. It's like 0 0.5, 0 0.25, 0 0.4. It just depends on the equip and what slot you're doing. But you can do that. And so you can stop like at a gold and manually <laughs> guaranteed upgrade it all the way up if you want to do that. That method, as you imagine, is very, very resource intensive. So yeah, but it's a lot better than rolling the slots like we're doing here and relying on complete RNG. So you can get pretty close and then manually upgrade to get wherever you want to go. So right here, it stopped on its own because it got a gold. Okay, so I, I didn't change this. <clears throat> I should have. So, all right, it's got a gold. I guess we'll start with that. We'll work with this. I don't have the erasers to do the, the, the brute force method. <laughs> so this can get all the way up to 32. As it stands, this is not going to be a... No matter what I do on slot three, this, this shouldn't ever get close to being a, go a godly. It can be a Z plus, but it's not going to be a godly. This needs to be much higher for slot two. So I'm going to run it again. And if I really didn't want to lose that placement again, I can hit secure upgrade and it would work. But I can do the guaranteed one. As you see, this it wants 50 erasers, <laughs> 50 erasers, excuse me. And what would the what would the increment even be? It's going to give it 0.8. So that's better than I thought. It just varies on equip, right? So anyway, 0.8. If you do this a handful of times, you can get pretty close to godly. <laughs> but do you want to do it? It's going to cost you 250 erasers, like at least just for this one slot. And there's a third slot to work on. So that's the general process of upgrading. Uh, and then also what you need in terms of expectations to get godly. And so, like I said a moment ago, along the way, you will hit various other ranks. So we'll work on that one again in a moment. We're going to work on slot three here. Now, each equip has different amounts of like RNG tied to each slot on them. Some equips are gonna have a really easy time getting higher levels. A lot of these like platinum slash unique equipments are gonna have a tougher time getting the higher levels. And if they've got double stats or like a pure stat increase, it's gonna be really, really tedious. So that's something to consider too. This process, the point of that is that the process is different on a per equip level. So like I talked about how what this equip would need to get godly, that's not a blanket statement for each one. The safe thing to do when you're trying to get godly specifically is to get as close to red as possible. <laughs> that's the safe one. So that's what you need to know. Um, but there are going to be inevitably some equips that are like red, 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 but they're not close enough to be godly. Like they need to be secure upgraded, guaranteed upgraded one more time. And they're right there. They're like right on the bubble, right? And that will apply to every rank anyway. Each rank will have equips that can be on the fringe. Like I've seen equips that are like 0.25 off of being a godly equip, just or not godly, a Z plus, right? Like they're right there on the bubble, right? So what we're gonna do here is we're gonna just pause and we'll be right back in just a moment. So if it wasn't clear, I do 110% recommend doing the secure upgrade method because it's a lot more reliable. I'm on the heels of doing a lot of things. So I've been spending the last like 30 minutes upgrading this equip and I've used hundreds of erasers <clears throat> and I've had to reform my Zenny. I've had to reform the souls, all that stuff. It's very resource intensive versus, you know, getting the guaranteed marginal increase, which over time will get you where you need to go. You don't really need to upgrade like, you know, individually, like super duper quickly, unless you're on a rush, right? So anyway, I also did mix in Chrono Crystals uh, just to get this video done. I wouldn't really recommend that portion of it, but if you want to do that, you can. Also, this third slot is an absolute titan. The, this equips third slot is super heavily weighted, probably because there's two stats in it. And so what that has meant is I've spent hundreds of erasers, and this is the highest I've been 
So I'm gonna we'll just wind up secure upgrading this all the way up to at least and, until I see it pop into godly. It should take maybe one more secure upgrade to get Z plus. But right now I think so. Here's the deal. This equip is good enough for PvP. Like this is all you need. Like you don't even need this. I didn't need that second slot to be uh, red to get the Z. That's a little bit above and beyond. You don't really need this. This is super duper min maxing, right? But again. The S version of this that we might have started off with is good for like 95 at least percent of players, I think. So that's kind of the gist of equipment. It's a resource heavy grind, yes, but also you don't have to go all the way. As you see, I've got a lot of S ranks equips that I use on certain characters. Also, you've got to make that executive decision because when you start doing it and you realize that some of these equips are just different because there are going to be equips, like I mentioned earlier, that are super duper easy to upgrade and they'll pop through at godly easier. In fact, I have a few godlies. I didn't try to get that on any of them, actually. They just were godly. So, uh, yeah, it is what it is. Let's go ahead and finish this one off, though. <laughs> like I said, the next upgrade was enough to get it to gold, which is Z+. Let's see how it looks to get it to godly, though. I'm going to have to get some more Chrono Crystals because, again, you can do this with uh, erasers, but I've been using CC. Actually, I can, I can do the eraser method here because, you know, I've got at least enough for this. <laughs> um, the reason I'm doing this, though, is because I've actually got most of the erasers exchangeable. So actually, I, I'm going to go double check the shop, see if I can pull any more really quick. I did find some more erasers, so let's go ahead and work on this one a little bit further. Do I think this is worth the Chrono Crystals? Certainly not. <laughs> Certainly not. So if you guys feel my pain, you feel bad for my CCs, be sure to hit that thumbs up and subscribe, all that fun stuff. And comment in the comment section, hashtag RIP. <laughs> so every time when I see this video and I see those comments, I'll know exactly what you were referencing. All right, so let's go again. It looks like I'll have to go dig out some more, maybe. Maybe. This one is almost maxed, though. It's got to be like... Okay, so this is 1% off, give or take. 1%, 1.5% cumulative off. Like, this is a firm Z+. Plus. The maximum on that slot is 25. This is how close my equip is. The first slot is max. I'm 1% off on slot 2. 1.05, really. Um, 1.05 on the strike defense and 1.7 on the blast. Like, this has got... The next one has got to be it. I'm just gonna I'm just gonna do it. I don't, I don't really want to go dig for anything. This next one's got to be it. 300... Oh, my God. <laughs> this has got to be it. Come on. Come on now. 0.6 to both halves. Red, red... Oh, there it is! <laughs> Oh, yeah, baby. There we go. We got the deed done. Is this equip worth this? Probably not. It's a good equip. It's a good equip. But probably. Again, like, again, I would have been fine with the S plus. Like, there's no plus, but, like, high S, I would have been fine with, right? Um, So, you guys just saw the entire process. So, let's just recap for best practices. When you farm an equip, try to make sure that it's at least a C. That's the goal. A C rank. There are green Cs, because they're super high, like they're right on the margin, like 0 0.01 off, but they're green Cs, red Cs, yellow, it doesn't matter. Make sure the first slot is a C. Red, gold, whatever. Next, uh, from there, if it, the first slot is a C, it's super easy to get an S. It's super duper easy. But the next from there, if you want to get a, a Z rank, you want to at least get one gold slot. And then the third slot, whatever, the if the second one's gold, whatever, if the third one's gold, whatever. But you want to get at least a gold slot. You can get one red, two greens as a Z. It just depends on how close you are and also it depends on the equip. But you want to try to get one more gold slot. And that, again, is just from re-upgrading. So re-upgrading is a very resource-intensive process. But the game does give a lot of erasers. Like, seriously, I didn't, I don't buy erasers. I had, like, with money. I had like 800 just yesterday and I'm not like trying to save them. I didn't save them. I just had 800 like yesterday, but I was working on a bunch of equips. Um, <laughs> so yeah, so like they give a lot of erasers. Don't worry about that. That's not the problem. It's just how you manage them. So the most, most important part of this process is finding the right equip to do this for. These platinum equips, these unique equips that have the black border around them are the most important equips to try to min max on, but they are also the hardest ones. They're the ones that the game has like super duper low rates chances to upgrade to Z plus or, or higher rarities. It doesn't really matter about like the Z plus or anything like that, but to get higher to these numbers, it's really, really difficult. Especially on equips that have upwards of 30%, it gets really tedious. And if they have double stat increases, as you saw here, I used a couple hundred erasers at least on this one before I decided, let's just re-upgrade with Chrome. 
pretzels. Like I just like, and then we still use another stick, like another like hundred afterwards, like the guaranteed upgrades, right? So I want to also mention guaranteed upgrades, secure upgrades. When you get an equip, if you're trying to go super duper high, do not, do not, do not. When you get close and you want to go Z, Z plus, and you just need to do secure upgrades, do not worry about doing the one by one regular non secure upgrades where it can go lower or things like. Don't do that. Don't do, just just freaking bite the bullet and do the secure upgrade to guarantee and not the regular secure upgrade where it just resets it if you go lower but the guaranteed upgrade right the one where you hit this you come over here and you hit this little checkbox where it guarantees it costs more resources yes but it's so much better because as you saw here you guarantee the upgrade just just bite the bullet take your time with it and ultimately you'll get anywhere you want to go as you saw here it took a lot of resources but we ultimately made this equip that we started off with a godly rank equipped. I don't recommend doing Chrono Crystals. You can do it completely free to play with erasers. I just wanted to brute force through it because I was like, I don't know if I got enough erasers in the bank. I should have did this video yesterday when I had all those other ones. <laughs> but if you guys enjoyed this video, be sure to subscribe. Again, remember, comment, hashtag rip, hit that thumbs up. And if you want to see a guide on team building, click this video now.